I love his little white spot on the top of his head. Guys, he's that? literally eating shredded carrots. <laughs> All right, guys, starting out, uh, oh, no, no. Starting out another a weekly vlog, um, uploading the one for last week when you're watching us. Now there's another one coming. I'm glad you guys like the weekly vlogs because it's actually really nice because it makes me feel like continuously connected with you guys on like what's going on week to week. I'm addicted to hint water, my fave. Um, so I had credit card points and I got a gift card for Sephora because I needed some things. So it just came in. So I also, I just threw these on top um, when I opened the box, but um, First Aid Beauty, I got more of these. Um, these are the facial radiance pads and I feel like they help me so much when I'm breaking out. So I would recommend those. All right, let's see. So I didn't get that much, just like some things I needed. Um, I love these so much. These are the Shiseido facial cotton pads. So they are just different than like cotton rounds. They just hit different. Luxuriously gentle touch. And they're so good. Like you only need to use one and they're just like really, really, they're just good. They just like absorb better. I just love them. I'm gonna shut up now. So I have seen so many people raving about the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So many people. So I got the small one because I don't know if I like it or not yet, but it's Hydro Grip. So I feel like maybe it's like hydrating, but I'm not really dry. So it's a grip primer, hemp derived cannabis extract with blue agave extract. And apparently it has like a little tackiness. So your foundation will really stick. We'll see. Oh, I finally got a new gimme brow. So I always get this or Glossier Boy Brow on those days like today where I don't have any makeup on, but I just want to like give my brow some life. And it just like darkens it and like holds the hair in place and probably messing this up doing this in the viewfinder. It's not that bad, but it just, I don't know. It's like the perfect, I'm not wearing makeup today, but I need my brows to look a little more put together. So excited. I haven't had those in a while. My boy brow has been out too. Um, I got this. I've seen this all over TikTok. Like my skincare, I bought stuff on TikTok from TikTok. I mean, wait, I've bought a bunch of new skincare from TikTok and The Ordinary is super hyped on TikTok because it's super affordable and the products are really, really good. So I definitely recommend them if you want like affordable, really good performing skincare. So this is the Azalic Acid and apparently it helps with acne and brightening like a lot and it was really affordable. So I'll link everything below. Oh, and I got these two. Oops. So I got this one for acne prone skin, the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. And it's apparently like amazing. They're just these little pads that you wipe on your face after you cleanse. It's a two-step daily treatment uh, for clinical results at home. So I got the 60 treatments for two months and I got this one is for oily skin, uneven tone and texture, and large pores imperfection. And it will give you balanced, clear, bright, smooth skin and an immediate radiance. I've heard great things about these. I'll keep you guys posted. And I got a new bronzer. I mean, it's the same bronzer I've been using lately, but I'm all out of it. Like I actually, I don't think I've ever finished a whole bronzer but like it's, there's just product around the edges and I can't get any more off of it. This little baby, you're my first empty bronzer. So I bought another one, but I got a shade darker. This is the Hourglass. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. And the one I had before was the Nude Bronze Light. Oh, and this is my favorite hair oil, the Way hair oil. So good. I have repurchased many times. And also if you have damaged hair, like I do and you're looking for like a treatment, the Olaplex number three is amazing. It's like you put it in the shower and leave it in uh, for 10 minutes. I use it 
probably once a week, every other shower even. Um, that's all I got. So just some things I needed and some new skincare. All right, guys. So I'm about to make us some early dinner. We're starving and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I finally got some HelloFresh in. Guys, literally, if you have watched my channel for a long time, you know how much I love HelloFresh. Yara loves HelloFresh. We're addicted. I'm so, so excited to make us some right now. So the options that we got in this week were Szechuan pork and green bean stir fry. Looks bomb. Amazing apricot chicken, which we're both really in the mood for. I think we're gonna have that. And then margarita chicken with garlic herb spaghetti. Ugh, looks so fire. So um, I'm gonna whip us up this. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I'm so, so excited right now. Um, okay, so love this. This looks really good. It's apricot balsamic sauce. So I love like a sweet kind of tangy sauce. So, and a lot of you guys ask if you can do these meals on WW. So they do give you nutrition facts for your meal and then you can plug it into WW and it will calculate points. So let's go ahead and get started. So first step, roast potatoes and prep the green beans. Oven to 425. So we need to wash and dry our produce, dice the potatoes into half inch pieces, toss on a baking sheet, drizzle with olive oil, salt and pepper, roast on the top rack for 10 minutes. This is for potatoes and then we're gonna trim the green beans in the meantime. Ooh, and then we're gonna roast them together. This sauce looks so good. Um, I love, with HelloFresh, I always learn fun and new sauces for things. Like, I did not know how to make like an aioli or like a glaze that you cook down, like how you kind of like thicken a sauce. I had no idea how to do any of that until I started working with HelloFresh. So, so I like to get everything kind of prepped. I have my baking sheet with some parchment paper, uh, cutting board, the chicken cutlet, and then you get each meal in these little bags. It is super easy. They give you exactly how much you need. So there is little, little, no waste. So we have some green beans some fresh thyme. Everything's always super fresh. Oh, and here are our potatoes. And then even like, look how cute this is. This tiny little apricot reserves. Like, ugh, so cute. So you don't have to like buy a big thing at the grocery store of something that you're not even gonna finish. Like, look at this, even this little tiny balsamic vinegar. Like, they give you just enough. And then potatoes. And then a little bit of chicken stock and we have a shallot so and then I like to keep this little bag in front of me and then I kind of use it as a trash during my process so I get everything kind of ready I always prep the produce first wash it let's get to it oven for 10 minutes on the top rack roasting and I'm going to quickly just rinse these off and then trim the ends of these and then they'll go back in with the potatoes for more time so I'm just gonna give these a quick little rinse and now we'll get these prepped so what I love about HelloFresh is you know it helps you get out of like your dinner cycle rut and like try new recipes and like I know when it comes to making a really nice dinner there can be so much stress over like prepping and planning and this just takes out all that extra work like you can actually enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table like around 30 minutes or even just 20 minutes with their quick and easy options and if you guys didn't know you can actually add extra lunch and dinners to your HelloFresh order uh, you can add little add-ons extra protein or like yummy little dinner compliments like their famous garlic bread the HelloFresh garlic bread and another reason I love HelloFresh so much in 2019 they donated over 2.5 million meals to charity and this year with the coronavirus crisis they're stepping up with their food donations even more all right so I have my green beans ready to go I am gonna throw them in in a minute when those potatoes have finished their 10 minutes and we're gonna roast them for another 12 to 15 and then get on our shallots and chicken super easy all right so here's our little update 
Um, we have eight minutes left on the green beans and potatoes. I am currently cooking my chicken with a little oil, salt, and pepper. I prepped and well, minced my shallot. And once this is cooked three to five minutes per side, we're gonna add in thyme, shallot. It's kind of like gonna create a jam with the apricot reserves. Oh, it's gonna be good. All right, guys, so I just added in the jam and the balsamic, and we're gonna let it simmer till it gets kind of syrupy. And then lastly, I add in the chicken stock. So it's kind of like, when you want a sauce to thicken, what I've learned from HelloFresh is like, you just put it on a simmer temperature and let it kind of cook down and it will thicken. Guys, this smells so good. I miss HelloFresh so much. We're about to have dinner and let's get Yar's opinion and approval like we do. Let's get some food shots. Oh, yes. Ooh, first bite. It's a big bite. <laughs> um, dude, like the flavors are. Weird. I know, guys, and I know that this is sponsored, but this is serious. Yard did HelloFresh before we even met. Mm -hmm. The flavors are so like, bam, and so good. So a lot of you guys over the years have let me know that you also signed up for HelloFresh and love it too. So HelloFresh is the best. They gave me a coupon code for you guys. So use my code 80 fearless to get $80 off, including free shipping on your first box uh, with your purchase. So go to HelloFresh.com, use that code to redeem. And for more details, I'll put a link below as well. Uh, so yummy, let's continue the vlog. Oh, what a good look, what a good look. I just put on my glow screen from uh, Supergoop and it gives me like a sheen on my skin but my mom and i are about to pull the weeds around the pool yarman had to drive out to rhode island and take his grandma to run some errands at the grocery store stuff like that and me and mama fearless are gonna do some gardening yes yes we are uh she's already to it who remembers this bathing suit from long ago it's from forever 21 i think i posted it like years ago got some diet coke got my little sun hat um sunscreened up about to pull some weights. Let's do it. Okay, guys, it's been about two hours. Oh my god, I'm sweating and getting getting a really good tan at least. Um, switching over to bubbly now. I really like this seltzer. Oh my god, look at the sweat. You can see the sweat. <laughs> oh my god, it's really hot, but it looks really really good. Um, we're still getting after it, but I just needed more beverage. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a progress shot, how this is going. I should have shot it before, cause this was bad. Actually, yeah, you should have. Cause That's Mama, amazing. Mama Fearless is putting in absolute work. So guys, literally this little pathway from our driveway was filled. I mean, look at all this stuff. I mean, they can see how much stuff it yeah, is. Yeah, how much stuff I pulled out. From the floor, um, and then she, on the floor, from the ground, and then she also trimmed a bunch of, uh, branches branches wow mom and we didn't even have a rake <laughs> she used did my kitchen, bare hands. kitchen used scissors kitchen scissors and a shovel and the point of a shovel when i needed a rake mom it looks so good i'm really pleased i'm so so pleased thank you so much for your help you're welcome i love you looks amazing oh my god now you can take your trash things and scoot them over here so you don't yeah. need to look at them at all yeah exactly because it was just getting to be too much are you still taping yeah yeah okay tell me when you're done <laughs> okay all around the pool was filled with weeds. So they're pulled and sprayed. Spray. Sorry, my flip flops are squeaking, but look at all this. I'm gonna sweep it all up now. It took a long time, y'all. A long, long time. We're done. I put my top down so I could get my tan on. But that was a project and a half, but we got it done. It looks really, really good. I sweeped up the weeds. I need to get a rake, but that's a project for another day. So it's three o'clock. Yara will be home soon. I'm gonna take a shower and chill out. And uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of you guys tell me on my WWIG that Tostito scoops have less points. A lot of you guys love this Tostito salsa con queso, which was an exciting moment because I love this stuff. Two points for two tablespoons, but like to drizzle it over some like scoops chips with like some uh, cooked up ground turkey for no points. Like, ooh, some little cheese, it's gonna be delicious. And this has two points for two tablespoons too. The creamy spinach dip, yes. Hell yeah, no deprivation. 
All right guys, it's later and I am about to start this little project. Great little quarantine project. It's the paint by numbers. And then I got this beautiful painting. I don't know what it's called, but I really like it. It's like blue with flowers and birds. I got it on Amazon, I'll link it. They have like a bunch of famous paintings too. Um, and look how, look at all of this. This is gonna take me months to do, but I thought it'd be a fun project, so. for two hours you can start to see the birds coming to life I've done numbers one two and three I did my members only live stream for channel members and it's 9 30 and I'm gonna go get ready for bed but this is very soothing like I love this all right guys I have not vlogged all day today because I have been just filming at home I got up, I took my walk, I had breakfast, I worked. Um, oh, I also had to go to the post office. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Made dinner, made a hello fresh for dinner for us. And now we're gonna play some tennis. It is 7.30, love summer, cause it just stays bright so long. Um, hear those birds chirping. So we're gonna play some tennis and enjoy a little evening workout. We're at the track actually where we walk now because we go to the track two days a week. They have tennis courts here so we're pretty hyped. So currently the ball, we had two balls, just went down over the bushes. So Yarman's going, he's jogging over to get them. <laughs> I think one of them can be salvaged but the other he's so salty. <laughs> We both be smacking the ball too hard. Honestly though, we're getting better. We used to only be able to do four. Now we can do 10. Good morning. We are back um, at the same place we played tennis last night. And we are about to go get our workout on. Yarman's doing his marathon Sports. training. Yes. Follow his vlogs for more on that because he's doing like a whole detailed program to train to do a marathon and I'm about to walk my three miles. So let's get it. I'm basic. I have a hydro flask. <laughs> let's go girl. Okay guys, it is later. We were in the pool today, but I wanted to show you guys these new bags we got. I ordered them forever ago from the container store back when I did my fridge makeover video, but they finally came in. I got these stasher bags. They're reusable um, baggies, silicone bags, so you don't have to buy plastic ones anymore. So we actually had some veggie burgers today and there's a leftover one, so it's in here. And I'm very excited. I'll link these below. And I'm very happy to not have to use so many plastic bags anymore because I don't know, this is just so much better, so. And they were dishwasher safe. When we got them, we washed them before we used them and it was like super easy to throw it in the dishwasher. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make us, for the first time, these like WW friendly KFC bowls. Okay, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot to show you guys how I made dinner, but it was so insanely simple. I'll put a picture on the screen. So it was literally just um, cauliflower mash from like Frozen. I think it was from like Bird's Eye at the brand. Um, I split one of those with Yar. Then I did some canned corn, some Tyson air fried chicken nuggets um, in the oven and topped it with some fat free gravy. I seasoned it all with like garlic powder, salt and pepper, and it was delicious. So, so good. I actually ended up also adding some fat free cheddar for zero points. And I'm telling you, this is gonna be one of our new favorite meals. Also, I got in some new walking sneakers tonight. So I caved in and got some quote unquote grandma style sneakers. So these are Sacconi's, Saucony. Um, and I got them on Amazon, I'll link them below, but they feel really, really comfortable so far. But I honestly kind of love them. I kind of love this like 
chunky sneaker look and they're pretty affordable so i ended up getting them they're nice and wide and they are supposed to be amazing for walking and they're great if you're heavy <laughs> all right guys i just threw my hair up into some faux braids to get a little wavy my part is like a little off i always feel really weird if my hair part isn't like right in the middle or like on the side you know, I'm a little weird. So I got in a package. Ooh, I don't know if I showed you guys. Oh wait, I think I did show you. I don't know if I showed you the success, <laughs> the journey. You can start to see like the birds forming. I feel like I already had this talk with you. Anyway, I'm gonna paint more after this. But um, I got some new jewelry that I'd show you little haul so you guys ask me all the time this necklace is from Miranda Fry this beaded bracelet fat wrist friendly so this is the fashion Jackson bracelet and this is the Mila chain great for if you have a fat neck um it kind of fits like a choker it's not meant to be a choker but like it, it just like fits perfectly and it's easy to wear non-tarnishing affordable gold jewelry i bought from them so much they ended up giving me a coupon code the coupon code is fearless and i'll link their site below but they just dropped their summer pieces so we've got some i want to show you like because i i love gold jewelry and like it's so i always wondered like how do people just not take off their jewelry and it doesn't tarnish like this stuff is so good like i wear it in the pool in the shower like i never take I hardly ever take these two off, honestly. Um, so really good stuff. Ooh, these are cute. So um, I put the earrings back in my second and third hole. So I really like huggies in those holes. Like they're kind of just like mini hoops that like hug your ears. And I feel like they're super like trendy right now. Freaking cute. All right, I need a detail shot of these. So we have these little huggies, but then on one side, it has a star, a moon, and a heart. And then the other side has little diamonds. I'll definitely be putting those in. I kind of want to switch to my third hole having a huggy too. And then these are gorgeous. I'm going to put these in my first hole. I kind of like, like smallest to biggest for my hoops in order. My nails are getting too long. It's hard to open things. Okay. So I just have these cute little small hoops that are like beaded little diamonds in the middle oh my god it's like the perfect size okay i love these oh my god why do i love those so much and i feel like they might be small enough where i could just keep them in because like not every day especially in the summer with like swimming do i put in real earrings so maybe i could Let's see if i can sleep in these we'll see i'm kind of finicky about that but then we have some gorgeous hoops I love a gold hoop and I really like this trend right now, these thick hoops. Like I love the thickness of these. Like I love And then <laughs> and then lastly we have another bracelet. Let's see if it's also fat wrist friendly, like the Fashion Jackson, because I get asked about this one constantly. So this is Gorge. It almost looks like a little rope, but it has this chain down here. So I would like to think it will also be fatter's friendly. Um, all of these should be on their new arrival page. Oh, hell yeah. It's also fat wrist friendly. This looks, oh my God, these look so cute all together. So that's everything I got in and there are other new arrivals as well. I love this bracelet. I love these earrings. This is all just so freaking cute. I have a bunch of necklaces from Miranda Frey as well. Um, they have like different size chains, depending how long you want it to go on your neck and different charms and you can like interchange them. So I love Miranda Frey, like just so, so fire and different sizes. So it is fat friendly. So, all right, that's all. I'm gonna go paint. Good morning. Oh, I guess I don't need my face mask on to talk to you you guys um, i'm about to go get my nails done it's been two weeks they're pretty grown out um and they kind of lose their shape when they're grown out like they're not as thin anymore they get kind of like chunky on the bottom or the grown out part so i'm gonna go get my nails done um and wear my mask my nail salon feels super super safe like 
They have everything wiped down 24 seven. They have a plexiglass in front of each person, um, every other chair. Um, it's pretty much all socially distant, so that's cool. Um, so I'm gonna go get my nails done. I don't know what I'm gonna get, perhaps some French maybe. Um, I got up and took my walk this morning and I thought it was going to be fantastic. The weather said 68, 70, and I was like, yes, amazing walking weather. And like halfway through, it was so humid, like I could hardly even breathe. Like it was so like unbearable, but we got it done. Two miles done. Um, I love getting my walk in the morning. So it just like sets the tone for the day. I just feel really like happy and positive endorphins. I feel strong. Um, I actually got, the, the, did I show you guys? the new shoes I got? I think I did. They're amazing. That was my first time walking in them. I walked two miles and they were so comfortable. Like, I love that they had wide and extra wide. I got the extra wide, but I definitely should have just got the wide. Like, they're pretty big, but I'm not complaining. So if I ever want to wear like a thick sock with it, I can. But if you have like normal wide feet, just get the wide. But if you have like really wide feet, they have extra wide, which is awesome. And they're pretty darn affordable. I mean, a lot of sneakers are like a hundred bucks. These were like 50. So I'll put a, a link for them down below. But um, my whole body just felt so good. Like before I lost, I've lost like a little over 30 pounds. And before that, my knees were starting to hurt. And that was another reason I wanted to just work on my health. Cause like I could feel things not feeling good anymore. And like my knees are feeling just perfect now. And like, I just feel so much stronger. And I'm just really like every day, I'm just really thankful I found the motivation to like want to work on my health and like get back in better shape. So anyway, rant over, let's go get these nails done. Okay, I don't know why I just felt basic today. I got Funny Bunny from OPI in Dip. All right guys, so it is five o'clock and I have some barbecue pulled chicken that's been in the slow cooker for I think four hours and I marinated it in uh, some sugar-free barbecue sauce so I can't wait to have this for dinner we probably won't eat for like another hour I'm also gonna make some zucchini fritters and I wanted to show you guys I saw so many UK Weight Watcher pages post these and literally <laughs> they only have three points and they just sounded so good so I ordered them I think on Amazon um they're so yummy I just had one they're just like they just remind you of being a kid there's just something yummy about it it's like eating a candy bar I don't know it's so so good but anyway um I'll show you guys when I make the zucchini fritters Gabby gave me this recipe so shout out to her all right so I'm currently about to make the zucchini fritters so I just used um, a grater and grated one big old zucchini. I just beat up one egg and I'm gonna add this in um, and just like maybe a tablespoon of flour to bind it together. And actually, I'm gonna add in my trusty fat-free cheddar and I'm also gonna season it with a bunch of good stuff. So probably some garlic powder, maybe a little paprika, Maybe for a little spice, a little slap your mama. Um, and then make little patties and we'll bake them. Oh my God, this looks so, so good. It smells amazing. All right, we had dinner. We're gonna watch more 13 Reasons Why. We're addicted. I'm making us some um, homemade popcorn with this movie theater butter spritzer and a little white cheddar. Look at this bunny and baby bunny. The bunny family. They're no bunny family. They're like frozen. I know. Guys, that little baby bunny is so small. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, guys, good morning. Today is Thursday. Yes, Thursday. So Yara and I just went and looked out at the track. We just got back and I'm gonna make us some brunch. It's 1045. I'm making for the first time carrot cake oatmeal. It sounds amazing. So I grated up a cup of carrot and then in here it's like almond milk, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little maple syrup, um, just a bunch of really yummy stuff. Guys, it just finished. It smells amazing. The recipe is up on my WWIG. I'll put it on the screen. It smells so good. Okay, guys. Oh, yes. 
there is a bunny on my chest. A okay. baby bunny. A baby bunny. So my mom's here now and we came outside and I look in the water and there's like some something swimming and I'm like, oh my God, what is that? And I run over and we see it's like a baby bunny. And we literally, Yara and I saw this baby bunny and its mom last night. And um, we run over and we get it out and it's freezing. So we're taking turns now just holding it on our chest to warm it up. But it is still alive. It's blinking. It's blinking. We're just trying to warm it up and make sure it's okay. But it was it was crazy. Bunny. I'm so glad he was alive. Me too. Oh, you know, it was so scary. We we're like, oh my god, it's a baby bunny. Oh, oh my god, so he cute. was struggling. He was swimming, swimming, swimming. He was swimming. Oh, and it made me so I know. sad. I'm glad we got him. Just trying to warm him up because he's very cold and very wet and very small. He's like the size. I, we're saying he it could be a boy or a girl, but it's like the size of a fist. It's so just the teeniest little bunny rabbit. Not even a fist. Not even. Yeah. So we'll keep y'all posted. Okay, guys. So it's actually been a couple hours, and he's finally not cold anymore. His ears are up. His ears are up. He's actually moving a little bit. Yeah. We named him Hubble. Hi, Hubble. We love Hubble. And I love his little white spot on the top of his head. Guys, he's literally that? eating shredded carrots. Oh, oh my God. He's dying. Oh, he looks so healthy and happy. I know. Right? He totally recovered. Right, little Bubba? I know all of us are emotionally invested in my sweet little baby bunny. So I'm going to give you an update. I couldn't even film this part because, like, I was actually really sad and about to cry. So we had, I named him Hubble. We had Hubble for three hours. We totally brought it, like, brought him back to full recovery. I'm updating them on Hubble. So, um, like we said, he was super cold. We kept him warm. I fed him some carrots, as you guys saw, which he ate. He licked on an ice cube. His ears came up. He started sniffing with little, little, little nose. Oh my God, I'm so sad. <laughs> like, I'm literally gonna cry. Um, so eventually, he started kind of like moving around and trying to hop, and we're like, okay, maybe he's ready. Like, I don't know. So we just brought him back to like the woods in the back of the house and just kind of like set him down to see what he would do. And at first when we, I would just like take a few steps and he'd like follow me and stay at my feet. And like, I was like, okay, he's not ready. Like we need to like bring him back and like keep an eye on him a little bit longer. He started kind of like nibbling on the grass and like kind of like cleaning himself. And we, we stayed there for probably like 20 minutes, just like watching him to see how he would do. And then eventually he like, he hopped off into the woods. My Hubble. I want Hubble to come back. Tear jerking story. Oh, I really like everyone is emotionally invested. Like th that was a journey, and I hope Hubble finds his mom. And if he doesn't, I'm like, okay, Hubble, if you can't find your mom, like come back, I'll take care of you. So that's the journey of Hubble. But when I left him, he was thriving and living his best life. So it all started yesterday. It all started last night when we saw Hubble for the first time. I can't believe we saw him last night. Little did we know the journey that today would bring. But that's the story today. So I saw some people say with baby bunny, my Hubble, that um, we shouldn't have put him on our chest because the scent of humans can throw him off from his mom. The only thing is he was frozen. Like he was ice cold and he was like that for like an hour, honestly. So we needed that skin on skin contact to warm him up. Um, but don't worry, when I when we let him go, he was literally thriving. I would have kept him as long as I needed to to keep him safe and healthy. So literally, by the time we let him go, like he was eating, he hopped off, he was fully healthy, and um, hopefully we see Hubble again. I would like to safely report that Hubble found his mama. I'm so happy. Good morning, guys. So it's Friday. I am currently editing this vlog and missing my hubble so much literally i'm like i'm watching this back and i'm just like about to cry guys i literally cried like two three times yesterday just because i loved that bunny so much and like so many people so many people were dming me um like emotionally invested some people were like keep him as a pet and i'm like i don't i don't know like trust me it was hard to resist but like i wanted hubble to find his mom again i didn't want her to be like worried um, and then, you know, like I said in my IG stories and people were saying that human scent can throw him off And then I saw a lot of people DM me and say that that's a myth and it's not true I mean clearly it's not because his mom did come back 
and um reunite with Hubble and like it's just it's it was like the most beautiful story like it was genuinely like the most emotional day I don't know why it just hit me so hard like like getting Hubble back to like health was the most emotional thing ever I don't know if I just have like baby fever and my mama intuition is just like kicking in strong but I love that little baby bunny so much and like it was just so magical to like watch him like revive like he was he was like numb and like wasn't moving at all like we were afraid he was gonna die but like just seeing him like warm up and like eventually slowly start to move and his ears come up and it took hours like it was an it was an emotional day um I don't feel like I really vlogged a ton of it just because like I was in the moment but it was <laughs> like my heart so I'm gonna I, I hope that Hubble comes back I hope he and his mom come visit of course, I'll let you guys know if they do, but like last night, I was, I, I went outside last night and I was just like looking around and like my heart was elated to see that mama, mama bunny came back. So, um, that's the story of Hubble. <laughs> uh, I love Hubble so much forever and always, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay safe. Oh, my God.